What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of the Microsoft Visio platform and its different features. So Microsoft Visio is a great platform that you can use to create diagrams such as mind maps, which is pretty useful if you are like building or designing a project, creating mind maps and like laying out or designing your project details and stuff like that. So let's get right to it. First of all, here you need to go to their website. That's like uh, microsoft.com slash video, or it's easier to go to the search and search for Microsoft video and then hit enter. And this is the result that you want to click on this video. So uh, microsoft.com slash video and you will land on this page right here. So you can go ahead and see some snippets and some features of the uh, like platform as well as a video inform the video to uh, tell you what it can do. And they tell you that it's the ultimate tool for, for diagramming, uh, designing your projects and creating diagrams such as mind maps and stuff like that. And you can also collaborate with your team members, not only for yourself. And here you get some features, some benefits and stuff like that. And to start up here, the service is not free. So let's here view the plans and pricing pretty quickly. You can get it in the Microsoft 365 or you can view some plans here. Let's view the Visio plan one or you can also compare the options to view all the plan at all the plans at once. Now here it's included in the Microsoft 365. So if you have a Microsoft 365 subscription, it's already included. Now the Visio plan one uh, is five dollars per month. And here you have one month free trial. That's of course per user per month and the Visio plan two is $15 per user per month. Now here you can see some comparisons of each of the plans uh, features and decide which one is better for you. So I'll go back here and then uh, you can sign in to uh, use uh, Microsoft Visio. I already have a 365 account so I'm going to go ahead and sign in with my a 365 uh, username and password or email and password and then get back to you to show you the features and how to use the plan and then get back to you to show you the features and how to use the platform. Okay now this is my home page that's my main dashboard of the uh, Microsoft uh, 365. Now I'm going to go ahead to apps and then go to Visio, which is right here. Okay, click on it. And here I can view templates to start working on or create start from a blank canvas. So um, let's go ahead and uh, try a flowchart template right here. Okay, it will open up the file. Loading up in this page right here. And now our template is loaded up and it gets you like it gives you like a quick on screen tutorial to start using them. It's just simply dragging and dropping the shapes here as well as once you drag and drop them, you can like move them, you can rescale them, you can rotate them, you can do whatever you want with them. And here you can add additional pages and start working on the page that you want. Now uh, you can add text here. So let's add text to this box right here. And Let's first uh, adjust the shape. Okay. Now let's add a text. Let's insert a text box here. Okay. Let's uh, name it like main. Okay. And the text is pretty small. Let's go ahead and uh, now the text is pretty small. Let's go ahead and click on it to uh, make the text uh, larger. Okay, select the size 48. Okay, that's more like it. Now we can add arrows. So you can click here to add arrow shapes. Okay. Now let's go ahead and drag this one right here. Rotate it. Can drag this yellow button to. Okay, let's make it bigger first. Can drag this yellow button to make it like uh, to adjust the shape itself. Okay, and make it thinner or like thicker. Now let's, okay, looking pretty good right here. Okay, looking good. Now let's uh, drag this shape here. You can also stop at any point on the shape itself or on the arrow. You get these green circles. You can drag 
to draw like uh, basic arrows basic uh, like uh, small arrows right here and here i can click and view change the shape add or add shapes here like and automatically linking them to the arrow if i want to now i can already change the size and the orientation and like rotate them as i told you and i can edit the fill color let's change it like for example to like an orange color i can add a uh, black like black border let's make it thick so that it's visible let's make it black okay looking good actually let's make it thicker okay that's great and i can move the shape and as you can see the arrow moves with it so i'm basically creating like a tree here and in that shape i can like edit the text or add a text box another text box here or i can just start typing and it'll create like a shape for me inside this or create sorry text for me inside this shape and i can select the text adjust the size edit like the font and uh, the alignment i can align it in the middle let's decrease the text size make it smaller so that it's visible i can align it to the left to the right or to the center to the top and to the bottom so let's do top uh, center right here i can um, adjust also the text color let's make it bright uh, blue right here so as you can see i can like manipulate any element here i can also add shapes like arrows i can also add blocks and blocks raised if i want to let's add blocks here to the menu so each any like uh, item uh, type that you add it will be added in the menu here let's add a block okay double tree and when you drag the block sorry let's do that once again let's undo and when you drag the block right here you can like link it to one of these circles so if i want to link it to the top for example okay and when i move it it'll be still linked to this point so if i want to like make two sub branches of the main branch okay let's uh, let's make two of them here and let's add a shape to them a basic like circle okay make it a bit bigger and then let's grab this branch and uh, link it to the circle and then double click to add text and here subdomain or sub okay let's increase the font size make it bigger make it in red for example and let's add another one data okay let's increase the size double click let's make it sub 2 okay let's select it increase the font size make this one green and you can see here i can manipulate the text i can manipulate like the shapes uh, change the shape sizes change the shape lo the shape location and the arrows will follow so that's pretty much it now once you are happy with your files here you can they are already saved however you can go ahead and save them as like a copy online or a pdf or like a visual file or an image if you want to so that's pretty handy if you want to create like a tree uh, designing your project and creating diagrams for like uh, brainstorming a project that you are working on so that's pretty much it that's how you can use the visio and how you can get and use the visio microsoft visio platform